Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. I'm doing this on the 10th, so we could say the 11th through the 18th, okay, of October. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay. What do we have for Gemini? October 11th through the 18th. I haven't brought all my stuff out here yet. We're making that room into a bedroom. So what do we have for Gemini? What do we, what do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay, there we go. One card. Ooh, we're just gonna take one. So we got a lot of cards we're gonna get this time. Ego, <laughs> eagle. Ego, like the one that flies. Ego, triumph over troubles, obstacles. So this is triumph, it's victory, it's success. You will be triumphant over any obstacles that you are going through. So you are going to be victorious. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Gemini? hurricane season ahead. Isn't that what everybody needs? This is for the next week. Okay, so the next seven days. Apparently, you're going to be going through some stormy weather. Okay, there's going to be, you're going to be, it's kind of like a tower moment. The next seven days. Okay, this hasn't already happened. So for those of you that are in La La Land, oh, this already happened last week or this happened a month ago. No, this is for the next week ahead. Hurricane season ahead. Okay, next week ahead. All right. So that's like a tower moment, an event, okay, where something that isn't secure, that isn't stable, is going to be shaken or it's going to be cleaned out, could be taken right down, okay, taken right out. Um, you will be triumphant. You will be triumphant in whatever this is, okay? All right, let's get one of these. What do we have for Gemini? The Chariot. So somebody may be moving. I'm not sure. They could be moving. This is mastering emotions, going somewhere, taking a journey. Uh, you could also be dealing with a cancer. So I don't know if you are dealing with a cancer, but if you are, you could be. Anyhow, so somebody could be traveling towards you or you could be traveling towards them. Um, there could be moving, packing up, leaving home. This is taking a journey. This is mastering emotions, finding discipline, taking charge, being in control. Somebody is taking charge, okay? And they're moving. They're going somewhere. You know, mastering emotions. I'm, I'm, I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go here or whatever. So there's movement. There's going to be movement. That's victory as well. So you have victory here. You're going to be successful. Your determination and your strength and your ability to take charge is going to make you successful, Okay? Because you don't give up. There's strong determination here. And there's overcoming opposition. I feel like you're really leaving something in the past with the chariot. You're leaving something behind. But you and there is with the hurricane as well. Some there's gonna there's something happening where, you know, it's almost like you're forced to evacuate. And I wouldn't mean I don't, you know, leave. Maybe forced to leave a situation. And I don't mean, let him. some of you could be evacuate your house, but this is, is like evacuate the situation, whatever the situation is, to leave it behind you. The clinging, that is interesting. The clinging. Fire, illumination, inspiration, devotion, and all-consuming passion, regeneration, spirituality, virtue, enlightenment. So you're going through a period of enlightenment, inspiration, devotion, passion, very passion, passionate desire. Now this could be passionate love or hate. It's going to be a very passionate week for you. It could be dealing with a fire sign as well. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Regeneration. So you're going through a period of regeneration. You must be vibrating at a different level. Your vibration is probably changing. Some of you are going to be traveling. You're going to be going somewhere. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising. Or somebody's coming towards you. Somebody could be coming towards you. Get prepared for some stormy weather or, or you know, something like that. There's going to be some arguments and some struggles this week. Be there is. We may have somebody here that is clinging. It's interesting. I just saw that. They're clinging to a situation and they're causing trouble. Maybe they're causing trouble because of a departure, you know? Ooh. <sighs> Two of Cups. Two of Cups. This is definitely about a partnership. It's about love. It's about a union. You may be falling in love with somebody or getting, there could be new love here. I mean, the Two of Cups is a partnership, it's unity, it's love, it's compatibility, it's a happy couple. This is about a partnership where there is uh, a lot of smiles, a lot of happiness. This is totally celebrating. It's it's falling in love. It, it really is. It's it's happy smiles. This is beautiful. It is. I, I do feel like you're, there's going to be a connection. You may even have an attraction to somebody. If you're single, you, this is about a partnership. Okay. There could be a proposal. This could be even an offer or an invite or getting together with somebody. You could just be going out with somebody, going out on a date with somebody. I don't know, but this is definitely getting together with a partner and having fun, smiling, being at ease. So, oh boy, maybe somebody's courting. We have some courting going on here. What do we have for Gemini? Ten of coins, may be a change in your living situation. Um, Knight of Swords. So this is somebody who's got something they want to do and they're going to do it and there ain't no stopping them. It's on their side. If somebody knows what they want. Queen of Swords upright. Oh boy. It looks like you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, or we had that fire. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Coins over in your section. So it looks like you're stable. You're stable. You're solid. You're secure. You're, this is a hard working, uh, looks like it's a feminine to me, but we have a hard working individual here who has a lot to offer. Okay. She has a golden opportunity in her hands. Looks like she's very, uh, down to earth. Looks like this person is very, very beautiful to me. Outdoorsy. This is a homemaker though, also a businesswoman that is very, very focused on her craft. You know, she's focused on her skill. Whatever her skill is, it makes her money. So she, this, you're dealing, you know, I feel like you're in a space where you're solid, insecure, and you have a lot to offer. This is in your section, okay? I feel like you have a lot to offer. There is somebody here that is coming towards you. They're making an aggressive approach. It's very aggressive. This person knows what they want. They're on a mission. May have something to do with a living situation with that 10 of coins. May have something to do with a home. They may be coming to your home, arriving at your home. They're coming with some information, okay? They're, they're going to be speaking to you. They're going to be asking you something. They're going to be giving you an opportunity. They're going to be telling you the truth. This person's going to be revealing something to you. It's very truthful. This is like, hmm... The High Priestess over on your side. So we have the Queen of Coins and the High Priestess. <laughs> and the Four of Coins. Very stable, very solid, very secure. So you are very much focused. You're very focused on, on your stability, your security. You definitely are um, holding on, okay? It's like you're not giving anything to anybody right now. 
Uh, you may be very focused on your money, focused on saving, saving your money, maybe even choosing to be single or focusing on your spirituality. Some of you have a, some of you have a spiritual gift. The Ace of Coins is a gift, and the High Priestess is a very gifted individual. This is somebody that is highly awakened, right? Also grounded, very practical at the same time, um, but intuitive, extremely. I think that you have an intuitive gift, you, and, and it could make you some sort of money. Okay, if not, if you haven't used it yet, it can definitely bring you some coin. Okay, it can bring you some money. Some of you are dealing with somebody that is gifted. This is somebody that is very, very spiritual, that is um, highly intuitive. This person has money. There's money here. There's, and maybe it's you're the one that has money. Somebody here has a lot of money. A lot. Mm. Deepening a bond with somebody. Somebody has something. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be uh, making an approach. They see they see something that they want. They're going towards it. You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision, where you have to make a choice. This is a life-changing thing. It really is. It is. This is. This could be a change in a living situation. It is. Some of you are going to be traveling. It may have to do with moving in or out of the home. You have a fearless individual here that is very upfront and forthright. Okay, that is making an approach. This person uh, doesn't have any fear. They know what they want. They, they, they want some sort of connection with you. They want to connect with you. They, they're gonna, I feel like they're going to be courting you. They're going to be, you know, coming to you with some sort assertively, aggressively. There's, I feel like there's some sort of aggressive approach here. Direct, very direct. Who you're, whoever you're dealing with is very, very, very direct. There is a, an opportunity for security here. Some of you may be securing something. You may be securing something. I feel like it's unexpected with that Knight of Swords. This could be a new job or it could be a new home or partnership, you know, a new partnership or something like that. I feel like you're being intuitively guided right at this point. Really pay attention to your gut but also be grounded. Some of you are really very spiritually spiritual. You're focusing on your spirituality. You're focusing on your business. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your stability. And well, you know, things can change at any moment. I think you're going to be put in a position where somebody's going to be propositioning you and you're going to have to decide. Okay. You're going to have to decide whether you want to do this or not. Hmm. There is financial success here. If any of you have been struggling financially, there is financial success here. Your hard work is going to pay off. You are definitely headed towards abundance. We have a partnership here with two people. These two people have a lot in common. They will work together very, very, very well. They're on the same emotional level. Okay, they're on the same level. These two people can uh, feel each other. They can feel each other's emotions. Okay, this is a very... A beautiful connection. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pursue this. I gotta do it. I have to. I have to. I know that I have to. I know this is the one. I know this is the one. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. So I don't know. I don't know who's saying that, whether it's you or them. It's like there's some sort of pursuant situation going on here. It could be a proposal. It could even be a wedding proposal. I don't know. I feel like you are going to get some sort of proposal. And proposal doesn't have to be a wedding proposal. This is some sort of proposal. And it has to do with a living situation. It's a golden opportunity. It is. We have a very hardworking individual here. We do. That is very motherly.
five of coins reversed. There's been some sort of abandonment, but this is the end. This is a turning point. There is a turning point here. There's, if there's been some neglect or there's been some sort of um, lack of communication or lack of help, somebody hasn't been reciprocating or they've been really, you know, in a victim mentality, things are about to change. This is the end of difficulty. It is. There's going to be some fast forward movement, I believe, with the Knight of Swords. Things are about, you're about to see some progress. We have somebody here that is going to be saying something very, very matter of fact. Okay, there's very, some sort of matter of fact truth that is being revealed. Ooh, right on the two of cups, page of cups. So there is, there is something, there's some news. Come, somebody could definitely be getting a proposal, an offer, or an invite. Okay? This is, this is like Cupid bringing somebody opportunities for love. Or we may have a partnership that is stepping it up to the next level. Okay? Something is happening here. A message is coming. It is a beautiful message. This could even be news of a child, news of a birth. Whatever it is, it's love. Okay? This could be an admirer, could be a secret admirer, especially with, this, with the high priestess here. There we could have a secret admirer. Somebody's definitely going to be showing feelings. They're going to be expressing feelings. You do need to trust your gut. Both these people are definitely on the same level. There is going to be some sort of um, offer or invite or proposal here. We have somebody here that is wanting to court. It's like courting or stepping it up, stepping it up to the next level. Could We have the fool. This is replace your fear with faith. Just do it. Stepping into new territory. We have a new beginning here. Doing something on a whim. You are going to be surprised. You are. I know that you are. Have no fear, okay? Have no fear. Just do it. This is exciting. You have an exciting new beginning of here. We may even have news of a pregnancy for some of you. Whatever's happening, some news is coming. Okay, this is going to be a shock. It's going to be a surprise. You're about to receive a, a, some surprising news. You are. We have somebody here that is throwing their heart into a situation. Knight of Swords next to the, next to the Page of Cups. That's somebody that is throwing their heart into a situation. Their heart, their... their they're leaping. They're flying into it. They're rushing. They're rushing into it. This is what they want. Their mind is absolutely made up. They, they don't have any fear. They're jumping. Okay, this is it. taking a leap of faith. Definitely. Definitely. Somebody is securing something. They are getting something. I feel like they manifested it. They asked for it. This is what you asked for. Because the Queen of Pentacles is holding the... Ace of Pentacles, which is manifestation, it's also a yes, yes, yes. This is what you asked for. This is the opportunity that you asked for. You're getting what you want. There is somebody, there, whoever is coming in, this person is a very hard worker. They're very, very intelligent. Um, if you are already with this person, your, level, your, your relationship is stepping it up to the next level. Things are, if, thing, if you've been struggling, you know, if there's been some sort of neglect, things are going to get better. Some, things are going to open up. Communication is going to open back up. If there's been a lack of communication or there's been something, this is a turning point. It is definitely a turning point. Whoever you're dealing with is about to express their feelings. They're going to be very matter of fact. They're going to tell you exactly how they feel. They are. They may, maybe they were, maybe they were sulking and maybe they were thinking about it, you know, or they didn't know what they wanted to do. Well, I feel like the decision is now made and they're taking a leap of faith. You're going to be starting a new journey. Some of you are traveling, definitely moving. For some of you, there could be a change in a living situation. There's something rushing right towards you. It is. It's the things are going to happen fast. This like, things are going to happen really, 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 really fast.
One more card. Somebody is securing something. They are. They're securing something. Either they're securing a job or they're securing a living situation or they're securing a partner. There's something that is being secure. If you were insecure, if you were struggling and you were wondering when things were going to come your way or things were going to be secure, here it is. This is the secure offer that you have been waiting for. <sighs> oh, I just shuffled a little bit. Page of Swords. This is a message is coming. A message is coming. It may not be what you expect. Somebody has probably been watching you. They've been very, very curious. You may have your guard up. Okay. Um, there, you could even be dealing with some mild conflicts this week. Maybe you're conflicted with yourself. I feel like um, there is somebody that is going to be really, really uh, expressing. Okay. This is very communicative. This is communicating, communicating. Somebody I feel like that has been uh, watching. This person appears to be con very intently watching. They've been watching you. Okay. I feel like you're going to be caught off guard for sure. 100% you're going to be caught off guard. This is somebody that's going to be initiating something. You're going to be like, hmm. You may be even wanting to protect yourself, okay? You're going to be like, uh, I'm not sure about this. I really feel like you're going to be put in a position where you're going to have to think. You're going to have to think whether whether you want this position. It could be a job. could be a job. Whatever. It could be a job. It's either a job or housing or partnership. Whatever it is, I feel like it's it's going to be a shock. It's going to be, it is. And it's movement, okay? There's a lot of movement here. This is, there's definite movement with the chariot and the knight of swords. This is like fast. Things are going to change really, really fast. And you whatever it is, it leads to long-term abundance. This is long-term stability. It really is. This may have to do with property. It may have to do with a new business, a new home. Whatever it is, it leads to something permanent. This is permanent, long-term stability, okay? Somebody may be even, you know, marrying into money or starting a business with somebody or moving in with somebody that has money or getting a new job that pays more money. This is an increase of financial abundance, however you look at it, but it comes after a hurricane, okay? This is a hurricane here as well. So whatever is happening, there's long-term security that is headed your way. Um, you're going to be securing something that you asked for. This is a turning point. It's the end of difficulty. It really is. I feel like you've been struggling. There could be departing, departing a, a situation where there's been a lot of trouble and headed towards something extremely stable, okay? You're getting a stable offer that you are absolutely positively going to love. And somebody is approaching you with this opportunity. And you're going to be caught off guard. And that's what I got. Good luck.